What's happening, guys? This is Hyper Paradox, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. Starting things off, we're going to uh, challenge Chuck Quizmo again. Alright, let's get to the question, as he says. How many windows does the Goomba House and Goomba Village have? I believe it's only one. And indeed it is! And we get yet another star piece. Very good, we've answered six questions now. First of all, before I do anything, I want to apologize for my lack of updates lately. I just... work has just taken up so much of my time, so I haven't really had the chance to uh, record. Which is kind of a shame, because I love recording. I love playing this game. I mean, who doesn't love this game? Now is finally the time where we start the second chapter, though, and we want to be here down in Toad Town Station. But before we do anything, we want to check out this. Now, if we jump... I love Lil Lynx. Love him. You, you want to learn about him? No, I will tell you what they do. All right, so if you hit this knob, so if you hit this wind-up key, it'll cost you 10 coins, this spear will come down, and if you give it a whack with your hammer, something will pop up. This thing is known as a Lil Oink. Now, it costs you 10 coins per Lil Oink, and you, they live in this pen. Now, you can have up to 10 little oinks in the field, and once you try and get an 11th one, the first one that popped out will run away, and it will leave behind an item, depending on what type of little oink it was. So, that's how you, uh, get, that's a, it's a good way to get some, some items, some certain items if you don't have them. Anyway, let's go on to this train here. I'm ruined! Done for! A huge rock is blocking the train tracks! When Peach's castle was uprooted, one of the boulders from that stack rolled off and landed here. What bad luck! If we can't do something about that boulder, I can't make my run to Mount Rugged! Well, that is a problem, because that is, that general direction is where the second star spirit is located. And since we have Bombette out, that rock definitely looks breakable. And there we go! The rock is destroyed. Oh, thank you, Mario! The train's back on track! All aboard! This train is bound for Mount Rugged! Are you coming, Mario? Well, of course we're coming! The train is about to depart. Please board quickly. And who doesn't love riding a train, honestly? Well, I guess technically it's only a locomotive. But hey, a train is still a train. And trains are awesome. And don't you love how it puffs up star-shaped smoke? But... Now this music... If you are a Mario Kart fan, you should know this tune. That's right, it's the same tune that plays in Calamari Desert in Mario Kart 64. Kind of a nice little touch, since we are actually going to be heading for a desert. Thus begins Chapter 2, The Mystery of Dry Dry Ruins. Welcome to Mount Rugged. Now, we're going to have to scale this mountain if we want to get to the desert. And like any train conductor, he likes to say everything twice. Passengers heading for Dry Dry Desert or Dry Dry Outpost should proceed directly over Mount Rugged from this station. Now, first thing we want to do is check this patch of grass. If we do, 
we get the egg. An egg of unknown origin restores 5 HP. Another one of those area-specific items, I should say. So, when we climb to the top of Mount Rugged, we find a heart block, and I really didn't need to do that because I haven't taken any damage. Aw, oh, no! Confound it! Where could it be? Hey, it's you again! Doink! Oh, sorry folks, very sorry. I was looking for something and not watching where I was going. What now? Aren't you Mario? Why you are! You're THE Mario! Hello there! The name's Paracarry. I deliver letters. Um, I'm normally a letter-perfect postman, but I'm having a bit of trouble with a lost letter. Wouldn't you know it, I dropped it on Mount Rugged and now I can't find it. If you happen to stumble upon a letter anywhere around here, please tell me, alright? My job could depend on it. I'll be searching this area thoroughly for a while. And by searching, he means floating back and forth aimless, flying back and forth aimlessly. So, yes, we have to uh, pick up the slack, like any good hero does. First of all, I want to switch to Goombario, because, yes, there are new enemies here. So, uh, by the way, I just want to demonstrate Shrink Stomp. It didn't happen then, but if you jump, when you use Shrink Stomp and jump on an enemy, there's a chance it'll get shrunk, and that will decrease its attack power. But anyway, let's tattle him. This is a Monty Mole. Monty Moles are rock-throwing moles. Big-time mischief makers. Max HP 3, attack power 2, defense power 0. Ugh! They have kind of scary-looking faces. They're pretty weak, though. Maybe they wear sunglasses because they have really sensitive eyes. Or maybe, maybe they're just hip. Yeah, sunglasses are pretty hip. But... As Goombario said, Monty Moles really are not that difficult. Just guard against their attacks. That really is the only attack they have, is throwing rocks at you. And we have another one. Alright, there are three of them this time. Do I have an attacking item? No, I do not. So I am going to uh, switch to Cooper here and use Power Shell. Very nice. Now I'm not too worried because I have plenty of healing items. So uh, let's play Whack-A-Mole, honestly. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't make that pun. Yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm getting all tongue-tied here. Alright, so in this block, there is a sleepy sheep. But what we actually want to do is we want to destroy this block and meet this little guy. This is Wacka. Wacku! I'm Wacka! Just another picture-perfect day atop Mount Rugged. Woo! The sunshine, the fresh air, so refreshing, Wackadoo! Well, his name is Wacko, or Wacka, so let's whack him! Wacko! Don't hit me! And once we hit him, we get the Wacka's Bump. A Wacka Bump from Mount Rugged restores 25 HP and 25 FP. Yes, 25 um, that is a very, very good healing item right there. And you can keep hitting Wacka to, in order to keep getting more Wacka's bumps. However, there is a limit to how many bumps he will give out. I don't know the exact number, but he'll only give out a certain number of them. So use them wisely. Okay, we have a couple more Monty Moles here. So, I'll be right back. 
Okay, that does it for uh, the three Monty moles. Now, as you can see, there is a badge up there, but uh, there's no way we can get it for the moment. Now, unfortunately, I did take quite a bit of damage during those three fights. It is a little annoying that Monty Moles have uh, an attack power of two, and that when you guard against their rocks... Well, I didn't there, but you still take one hit point worth of damage. The good news is, is that there is a badge somewhere in Mount Rugged that will help fix that in a way. So, there is a letter up there, and what we want to do is we want to send Cooper over there to fetch it. So that's the first letter, but there are two more. And how am I doing for time? Uh, almost 14 minutes, not bad. Now what I want to do is I want to first get up here and then send Bombette over there. Once I do that, that enemy will die in one hit. Uh, I will explain more about that enemy when, um, when we eventually do fight him, but right now I'm running a little low on health. So I'm going to, um, eat the mushroom. Because mushrooms are good for you! Alright. Nothing over here except a Monty Mole. Oh well, at least there's only one, which is very, very easy. Not so... not quite the case with that enemy we defeated earlier, but more on that a bit later. Okay. So if we walk back around and climb up again, I'm, uh, first I'm gonna get Dubario. There we go. So let's uh, go and fight the enemy. Yeah, we got a first strike. No, it doesn't damage him, which is kind of frustrating. Let's tattle him. This is a cleft. Clefts are pretty strong, so you'd better be careful. Max HP 2, attack power 2, defense power 2. Their specialty is pretending to be rocks, so watch your step on the mountain. You'll get hurt if you jump on the spikes on their heads. You know, there's courage in running away sometimes. So yeah, these guys can actually be a little tricky because they have such high defense. And also their attacks are pretty tough to guard against, as you saw right there. The cure for this is Bombat. There we go. He goes down. And I am going to use a spicy, my spicy soup. There we go, I guarded against it. Alright, one more bomb, please, Bombat. Oh, not quite. Yeah, unfortunately I'm not the best button masher in the world. But, uh, Bombette is definitely the partner you want to have for dealing with those clefts. And if you don't have anything that can recover HP, well then, you might want to run away. There we go! Yeah, and try your best to get the first strike on those clefts. So you don't have to waste any, uh, P any, uh, FP, I mean. PP! I'm still in the Pokémon mind. Alright. One body slam and you're going down. And 64 star points. That's pretty cool. Alright. I think I have time to get one more letter. So what you want to do is... Well, actually, first things first. You see those two eye-shaped holes? Well, jump off the left one. And we get a star piece. Very nice. So a quick trip back up here, and we are going to be en route to another one of, um, Paracary's missing letters. 
and a slide leap of faith. All right. Hold on, we gotta deal with this cleft first. Okay, before I was rudely interrupted by that cleft, um, we'll want to head left again. And as you can see, there's another letter up there. But as you can also see, there is yet another cleft. Okay, how did that hit me? That clearly did not hit me. I'm sorry, but that should not have hit me. Okay, I'll have to take another look at the video to see if it really did hit me. But, I'm sorry, I don't think that hit me. Yeah, sometimes the hitboxes can be a little, uh, can be a little strange at times. But anyway, inside this block is a mushroom. Very good. Very good. This video is going to be a... Okay, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by that cleft... Um, is there something back here? No, it doesn't look like there is. Alright, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted... Um, if you damage a cleft but do not defeat it with Bombette, uh, the cleft will get turned upside down and its defense will drop to zero, like, just like Koopa's. Alright, as I was saying, there is a secret passage behind here that leads to a chest that contains the Damage Dodge Badge. If you do the action command, it decreases Mario's damage by one. We will want to equip that, and what will I give up in exchange? I'm going to give sh up Shrink Stomp and uh, First Attack, because Damage Dodge is going to be helpful. Oh wait, it requires three, never mind. Um, we're going to get rid of Speedy Spin then. Damage Dodge is going to uh, be very helpful in absorbing damage from Clefts and Monty Moles. Whoa! Now, there is a star piece right there, but that gap is far too wide for Cooper to go across and get the star piece. Um, but don't worry, we will be able to do something about that later. And a single coin. Just a single lonely old coin. Alright. You know, I gotta say, Bombette is getting quite the workout in this video. But you really can't blame me because she really is your only uh, defense against those clefts. But anyway, after you slide down that particular slope, we have the second letter. So next what we want to do is we want to head back down here because the third letter is quite a ways to the right of uh, is quite a ways to the right of Mount Rugged. So what we want to do is we want to head up this hill, but this time we want to go to the right. And we can't cross this gap, so we'll have to jump down. And there is the third letter. As I was saying before, I was once again rudely interrupted by Clef. Here is the third and final letter. So I will see you guys when I get back to Paracarry. Okay, I'm back. 
So let's go ahead and give Paracary his letters. One. Two. And three. The last letter! You found it! Now I've got all the letters I've lost. Today. Oh, thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. I wish there were some way I could repay you for your help. Actually, to be honest, I haven't just lost letters on Mount Rugged. I may have sort of dropped some all over the Mushroom Kingdom while I was flying. Heh <laughs> yeah. You know you're good at finding letters. Do you think you could keep an eye out during your travels? In return, I would offer you whatever help I can. Well, sure. Since you obviously can't do your job without my help. Oh, praise the stars. I wasn't looking forward to having to find those letters all by myself. No, sir. I'll do my very best to help you. You shall not regret this. And we have our fourth party member, Paracarry. Press the down C button to have him carry Mario and fly for a short time. He can carry Mario over short gaps that he couldn't jump across by himself. While in battle, he can attack with Skydive or smash into enemies using his Shell Shot ability. Now, onward! Oh, but hey, by the way, if you want to deliver a letter to someone, just speak to that person. I have to be next to you at the time for it to work, though. Keep it in mind, alright? And with that, I think now is a good time to end the video. We got a new party member and a new side quest introduced to us, Letter Finding. So next time on Let's Play Paper Mario, we are going to leave Mount Rugged and head towards Dry Dry Desert. So if you like what you see, leave a like or comment below, or subscribe to my channel by hitting that watermark on the bottom right screen. See you guys next time! <laughs>